Hey guys, it's James from the FTR Outdoors YouTube channel coming at you guys with another video today. Today we're heading into brown trout country. So we're going to try and uh, find some flowing water here in early spring in Alberta. See if we can't get onto some nice fish, chuck some streamers. For those of you who know or for those of you who don't know, we started out this YouTube channel as a fly fishing channel. Uh, that's kind of what we're into. That's what got us into overlanding, camping, backcountry camping, all that kind of stuff. So today, come along with us. We're going to see if we can find some moving water. We're going to hit the road, uh, so stay tuned guys, we'll see you in a bit. Or we'll just not catch fish because that's what we do. <laughs> after all like you don't really know what is inside of these things alrighty guys I'm all packed up I'm uh, just heading to get some gas and uh, I'm gonna pick up Devin and then we're gonna hit the road what do we got a big bag of sockums meat okay. sockums man some <laughs> smoked meat sockums man okay so we're heading uh, we're heading west now off the main highway um, I'm not going to give you any specific locations here because a lot of people get sensitive about this stuff and you know we do like to keep our spots for the most part a secret. You're not like a specifically oh I can't tell you anywhere that I fish because it's all secret. It's not a secret because I found it. <laughs> like other people fish there all the time. But we're going to check out a few places that I know of. The first stop uh, is always productive for me. Now that's if the water is thawed. It depends. So it could still be frozen. Two weeks ago on our trip, most of the creeks were still totally frozen over. Um, I'm hoping today that we find at least a couple of bodies of water that aren't frozen. It's easy to fish. Well, it's not easy to fish. It's a productive area to fish. It's just really, really hard to wade and to navigate. Um, steep banks and then mucky bottom and super deep water. So you're looking at like chest deep water uh, in some sections to cross, which I'm not really a huge fan of, especially when I'm carrying camera equipment. And uh, kind of, it's hard to be, you know, stealthy and not spook the fish. So that's our first stop. We'll uh, kind of let you know when we get there and we'll show you a shot of the river. And uh, if you know, you know. Like, that's about as secretive as There's the levels to this. <laughs> Uh, Alrighty guys, uh, we made it uh, to the spot, the first spot, 11.40, I left at 9.15, so 2 hours and 45, or 2 and a half hours. It looks really good, <laughs> so uh, I'm pretty excited, I'm pretty hopeful for today, I'm, I, I'm very confident we're going to get onto some fish. We're going to get geared up here, um, you'll probably catch a little bit of b-roll of that, and uh, we're going to make our way down to the river and we'll start fishing. Yeah. 
right guys, so we've come up to our next little spot here. Um, normally this is probably a solid two feet deeper. Uh, runoff hasn't started at all, so we're hitting it perfect right now. The melt is pretty much complete, um, at least at this altitude. And uh, you guys will see in the footage, we just had a really solid brown take. Um, I make jokes all the time, first fish on all my trips, I tend to lose. And that was a solid fish. I would have given him about 18 inches. He was heavy, he pulled hard, and uh, I just didn't have good enough of a, a strip set on the guy. Uh, I just had another follower, so keep an eye out. We're probably gonna get onto one. I'm pretty confident we'll get one here um, next couple of casts. So today we'll kind of almost do like educational. We do overlanding, right? But we're also, we're fly fishermen. That's where we started the channel. What I'm using for fly today is a Crelex. Um, so around here, Crelexes work really good. They're super easy to tie. Um, basically just flash, uh, lead weight, and then, or not, or a tungsten wrap, and then a tungsten or brass hourglass eye. Um, these are not fancy. They're super easy to tie. Nice thing about it is it's heavy. So you got quite a bit of weight. You don't have to, to lead it with a split shot. And it kind of represents a small trout. So let's give it a go here again. Yeah. 